Hey guys. So we are going to be moving on with Virgo's August reading. Now, um, I used a different set with Leo because that's what I felt called to do. But I felt called to use these with Virgo. So let's see what happens. We're going to be using the Fairy Wisdom Oracle deck. And then we're going to be using, for the for the actual mes message theme for Virgo, we're going to be using the Crystal Visions Tarot for the actual reading. And the Rider Waite Smith when it comes to clarification, okay? Now, while I shuffle, I want to remind you guys to stay safe out there. There are still people who are messaging you, uh, replying to your comments, trying to sell y'all readings. The fact that they are using my name, some of them are using my name, to taking my logo, my pictures, should tell you that those are not trustworthy people, <laughs> okay? So please stay safe out there, guys. Now, um... What else is like? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm forgetting what I was going to say. Thank you guys so much for all the support y'all give. Those of y'all who have been signing up for the monthly membership to watch the part twos, um, those of you who send stars, who follow the YouTube channel, the Facebook page, sending, you know, sharing the videos, commenting, reacting, all of those things, let me know that you love what I do and allow me to do what I love. So thank you. Massive, massive shout out to all of you. Thank you. So let's get started. What is, um, what's the theme for Virgo? Or what's the message for Virgo in August? What is it Virgo needs to? Ooh, sorry. Oh, the fire element. Okay. So I would say to watch this reading, if Virgo is your rising sign, your sun sign, your moon sign, or if you have like a lot of Virgo in your chart, maybe a stellium, this will most likely apply. If not, go look at your other placements. So fire element number 42 this could be somebody's age or four and two are favorite numbers or six could be a favorite number okay this card keyword is passion fairies are passionate about everything we could take a few lessons from their playbook on how to live life when you think of the word passion your first thoughts might be those of romance here when we talk of passion we are talking in terms of enthusiasm it is time to fire up your passion what is it that would motivate you to jump from bed in the morning and e eagerly face a new day sorry <laughs> it's like getting stuck think about the things that interest you the most and be creative with those thoughts how can you turn your passion into something that rewards you financially in life when you find that thing that you must love to do the universe will work with you to help you receive needed support you must trust enough to allow this to happen. Be selective about what it is you want. Desires such as, I want to sleep all day and do nothing, don't generally pan out too well. <laughs> Be realistic and think things through clearly. Then apply all your zeal to your goal and make it happen. Do not be dissuaded if it takes time to find your passion or if it takes time to see results. Everything happens in perfect divine timing. Set a goal today. Oh, okay. So Virgo, um, some of you may be trying to become self-employed for that message to be the one that comes out. Or maybe you're trying to be a content creator. You're trying to, you know, maybe you're losing passion in life and you're thinking of switching careers and, and this is giving you advice on how to do that. So there you go. Make sure you do something you're passionate about. So let's get started. Virgo, August. Tell me about Virgo in August. And I'm going to try to do multiple uh, messages for all of you because we know not everybody's going to have the same message, right? Virgo, August. Oh, 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 oh that one flipped over. King of Swords reversed. Oish. Eight of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. I'm sorry about the lighting, guys. This is... The hotel's lighting is like... Sorry. Hopefully, y'all can still see the cards. We've got... Ooh. Damn. Five of swords. Three of wands. Wow. Okay. The emperor. Let's scoot these so y'all can see them a little better. Because I know the lighting isn't, like, great. Virgo, August. Four of Cups. Eight of Swords. 
one more for Virgo in August. And the star. Wow. Okay, with the lovers, damn. Well, that took a turn. <laughs> that is not what I was expecting. Queen of Cups. Death card. Nine of Swords. Um page of wands and the tower wow virgo with the two of okay 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 let's stop because otherwise i'll just keep going <laughs> i think okay this is gonna vary whether you are the masculine or the feminine this is gonna vary okay and remember i'm not i don't mean gender when i say that so excuse me You're, you're coming together with somebody. Now, I see this two of cups in the lovers. And naturally, naturally, everybody thinks of love. But there is a possibility that this could be a business partnership. So we have to address that possibility because it's a general reading. And it could work two ways. For some of you, you are considering a romantic relationship with somebody. For others, it's a business partnership, okay? So let's keep that in mind. Now, we're gonna address it as both. Because this was the general message, I feel like if it's a romantic relationship, you might have a choice between two people. Uh, we have King of Swords reversed, the Emperor, the Star. Oh, well, we also have the Queen of Cups here. So I feel like you have a choice between two people whether masculine or feminine doesn't matter you have a choice between two people and one of these people feels like the right person on paper the other person is it lights you up with passion same thing in business one person feels like the perfect business partner but the other person is very enthusiastic maybe they they are um what's that phrase i mean what's the phrase, the word they are contagious their enthusiasm is contagious to you and working with them would definitely bring out passion for you. So this is something you want to examine because Queen of Cups, I really do think that the advice here is to think with your heart. I know you're Virgo and you're very analytical. You're very much about facts, but the fact that this is the advice and we've got the Queen of Cups here, you've got to think with your heart, Virgo, because if you think with your head, I feel like this this would not work for you. Not this time. In fact, I think that the whole reason you're faced with this dilemma with the death card is because you're meant to change. This is meant to help you get in touch with your intuition. It's meant to help you get in touch with your passion. And I can tell <laughs> that you're struggling with this. Nine of Swords, this is very difficult for you. But you're, you're going to have to go down this path because we've got the page of wands here. This is, you are, it's like a piece of you wants to travel down this road because you're excited. It's different. It's new. But it's also terrifying. Um, with the tower, you know that your entire life would change if you follow your passion. You can already sense it. Your intuition's already telling you that and that scares the living bejesus out of you. But I'm telling you, this is, this is something you're, you should go for Virgo. You should go for it. So let's look at why. We've got the justice card here. King of swords reversed. Um, for some of you, I've got a, this is interesting because this is totally left field. So this could be regarding the ones that this is talking about a business thing. There may be some legal corruption that you're dealing with. There may be some legal corruption that you're dealing with. And it could be that if you choose the right person, they're going to help you get out of this. That's, that's what's coming to mind because Eight of Pentacles, like a lot of work needs to go into this. Um, if this is love... If this is dealing with love, it could be that you are, mm, 
you might be being a little manipulative right now or or the person you're dealing with is being a little manipulative right now um with justice card there's an energy here of tit for tat and king of swords reverse is because they want to be in control there's there's some and and if the masculine is you virgo then you're the one doing this but if they're the ones that are the masculine they're the ones doing this because the masculine wants to be in control especially connected to the emperor this is how this person or you expresses their masculinity unfortunately it's making it's making you guys kind of fall apart with the eight of pentacles both of you are willing to put work into this but i think the main issue here is that both of you need to have a conversation about you are a priority to me i don't know if that conversation has been had especially not when it's followed by the five of swords <laughs> i feel like especially the masculine but i would say it's both because both people here are both people are hurt. She has two swords in her back and he's walking off with three swords, which is heartbreak. Both people are struggling to let the other person know you are a priority to me. You are important to me. You are my number one. Like both of them want to hear it first from the other person. The king of swords might not even reciprocate it, but they want to hear it. But the, the irony here, that's, that's why I'm like so confused because we got 10 pinnacles here. So if this is business, I feel like whatever business partner you think is best for you might be connected to the corruption, which will end up with you being betrayed. You, it'll end up with you being, I don't want to put worst case scenario out there, but it really, worst case scenario, you might end up in jail for a few days. I will say days because it's just the Eight of Swords. There's no pentacles after that. There's pentacles before it. So hopefully that's that's not a message for a lot of people. But if it is business, I feel like there may be an uneven distribution of work or investment. You may be under the impression, Virgo, that both people are investing the same and they're not. They're not. Eight of Pentacles compared to two. One of you is putting in more work. One of you is juggling actually multiple things. And the other person is acting like they're the leader. They're the one in charge, but they're actually not. There's the image of stability. But something here is going to have a bad ending. I don't like that. We're going to have to clarify that in the part two. So, three of wands. Okay, I want to go back to this for a little while. Hold on. Because if it is a business partnership, and I have a feeling that there's some sort of legal corruption because both of these things represent um this represents the justice system and this in contracts and this represents um somebody in authority like a judge a lawyer but reverse they can be corrupt <sighs> with the five of swords the five and the six of swords means that you may be under the impression you're about to move away from something something so maybe you are under lawsuit because of some sort of contract maybe you were signing a contract whatever it is you think that you're about to move away from it but you're actually not because this person is reversed so it's not going to the six of swords it's going to stay in the five and eventually lead to the eight which is possible prison time well i shouldn't say prison time i'll say jail time because i don't think it'll go up to the big prison So you, you, yeah, you, you guys need to be aware of that. You may be investing a lot of money in this business partner and it, it might go south. So be careful. Okay, going back to love. So three of wands. I feel like both of you are kind of waiting for the other person to make a move. 
the masculine is like especially stubborn. I just have to say that they are especially stubborn. Um, because the feminine is showing up with star energy, which means that they're willing to be open. They're willing to be vulnerable. They're willing to heal this. But the masculine is showing up like, nope, you have to come to me. I will say this, though. A true feminine will not come to the masculine because the, the feminine is the moon. She's the magnet. The masculine is the sun. That's not the same thing. So, if the masculine continues this energy, I feel like the feminine is going to end up walking away. She's going to regard this as a missed opportunity. I will mention this, though. This is, um, these are water lilies. And water lilies are very similar to lotus uh, flowers. Only, you know, the difference, I, I recently learned this, that the difference is the pointy edges and much firmer compared to a lotus. But anyways, going back to what it represents. These are flowers that their roots go all the way down to the bottom of their pond um, or water that they're in. It comes out of the mud. So the reason that the feminine is sad is because she sees it like after everything we've been through, after everything we've survived, it'll be a missed opportunity. We didn't make it past this, whatever this is. And Virgo, I don't know what end of the spectrum you're in, but we have nine swords here, which, which it came up over here, but I feel like you're in the middle of a test. And if you're the masculine, or if you're dealing with this masculine, I feel like things are about to flip. The person that can help you Because a woman can be in masculine energy too, right? That that's not that's not only a man can do that. I'm saying masculine energy. But the person that can help you is the person that you're at odds with. Hmm. This is okay, I want to look more into this. So let's let's go over to the part two, because I want to delve into this. I need details because this is driving me a little crazy. Oh, I forgot to say, let's look at this in business though. So three of wands, I feel like you're trying, whoever it is that has the choice, right? They're trying to think of their future. They're trying to think of how, how can I expand? How can I grow? And if it's a masculine, they're thinking of building an empire, right? And if it's a feminine, she's thinking of building an empire with an emperor, with a masculine um, archetype. Doesn't mean she won't grieve her king of swords. But the feminine feels like I just I can't make a move. It's up to it's up to the king. There's something that she feels she is unable to act on. It's their choice. So maybe they said something that let her know that they didn't really want this. But with the star here, this can this can be fixed. Just that even if this is a business partnership, whatever whatever was told to this other person, they feel like they can't interfere without the masculine's permission. So, hmm, this is really confusing. I'm, I'm gonna, not confusing, it's just jumbled. There's a lot, I have to sort it out. So um, I'm gonna go to part two because I want to clarify so we can get, so that we can get more clarity because this is, this is interesting. All right. So if you have enjoyed it this much, this far, please make sure to react to the video, comment down below. Uh, even if it's just a little emoji that pushes my algorithm, share the video, make sure to subscribe. And um, by the way, I want to mention that I'm doing these on YouTube only because it is much easier to upload on YouTube than it is on Facebook. I'm still doing part twos on Facebook because I still don't have the amount of followers on YouTube to allow me to transfer the subscriptions over here. I will do that eventually. But yeah, um, 
if y'all want to watch these make sure to subscribe to the youtube channel so that you don't miss when i upload and um i'll see you guys on part two Bye bye